The food ventures of Soy are powered by our patrons. To become a patron, click the patron link in the description box. Thanks, patrons, for helping to write Soy. All right, guys, welcome back to Stuck in an Island. I'm stuck with you guys, and we are always smiling. If you guys ever caught the video where we came to pretty close, you guys can check it out. I'll put the link in the description box or somewhere up there on the screen. So, like I mentioned in the video that, yo, we're going to have some form of a birthday party here. This place is so beautiful, so unique and so serene. It could be the perfect spot to do any form of event. I was thinking something like even a small wedding. So, yeah, the table is being set up and everything like that. And already the kids, them jumping in the water and they start swimming because guess what? It is a super hot summer so this place is gonna be amazing for you to just come here chill relax have some food and everything like that Ramo welcome back for the challenge brother far, you know? yo uh, go Fresh. on today I cook like a massive amount of food today know, compared to last time food, huh? yeah a food, man. same That's thing so food. about how many guests you estimate you have today well today you guys and women have already probably about 20. About 20? Yeah, I'm not go over them limit there. I'm not going to go on the place crowd. Straight, straight, straight. So what are you on the menu today? I was right. watching some of the Instagram posts and um, I don't remember what you said. It was something different from the fish and the, the bread fruit and stuff. What, what else am I have? Aki and sawfish, kalalo. Oh yes, aki and sawfish. I'm going to try that. Aki and sawfish, kalalo, fried plant. And I'm try to fish them anytime now. Straight. Yeah, man. So, so we have rice and peas and we have sip. Sip? Yeah, that's uh, a soup without meat. So what what are the main ingredients? Just vegetables like beans yeah, and kalalo? Pumpkin at the, at the base and coconut milk. So that now you put like two carrots in it and coconut milk. Rich something. Corn in it too. Mm -hmm. So, so me know, me always calabar. hear about that in you know, like the Rasta culture about sip. Why them call it a sip? Is it because like soup it's without meat, you know? Soup without meat. Yeah, soup of being meat, so we call it sip as a Rasta man. So, what me I really are trying to get at? Would it be more like an appetizer, or like a, you could eat as a dinner? If you can eat as a dinner, it depends on how you, where you put in it. You can put a whole heap of food in it, but me mostly have the water and corn in it. Gotcha. You. you know, because you don't want a bag of nothing with a spoon or them things. You just want to beat, drink That's something. Man, yeah. Straight. Yes, sir. Yes. So, I'm stepping on it's like you make a talk that um, Rama has been here for a minute and has been through like a lot. Yeah. Like what the experience. Because I mentioned at one point, like, you know. All of that was, you know, deeper and, you know. It's there from a long time, from before they all had this poor, all, this bill up. Yeah. They look a bit smaller. Okay. Rain come and wash it to an empty there. Let me tell you something, so I'm on a vision. I'm on yeah. just a vision. Everybody have a different vision. You sure. get it? Trust me. So, him have a vision where he see, where we can't see, but we are see it when he put it to reality. Straight. You get me and come and father, they said there are more people that come and I like it and it's a nice little cool out place because he must use him creative thing. I put twos and twos together and fill up the place beautiful. Then he start with the food car. Food never used to be boy so. Yeah. Trust me, there when, when people just, just come after the river and I buy snacks and juice. Remember? And I sell snack again. <laughs> you see, so you know him there food, he might fry fish. Yeah. Might, yeah, this guy is going, he's going. Yes, I does that at the business. Wow. Yeah, it's a ton of business. And it registered also. Nice. Yeah, so more and more people on the right shop. Yeah, 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 me know him for a little time. You get a man say three to four years. Wow. Yeah, man. It's good. And it's a grow, the business are grow. Me there when rain come and flood there so it's sand till you can't swim. And then dig it up back. You must see other man dig it up back with, with, with. how you use shovel and then sit there and throw them in a sand, throw and the sand them in a bag and pat them. Yeah, and build it up back and people come and enjoy themselves. So, if a man even want to come and terrorize the business to and even want to pee and them suck there too. We don't put no violation or nothing towards them suck there, but in the pan the moon. Sure. But a God we are dealing with, you know? And right. a job provide where man. So a lot of times you realize you come to these places and there are a finished product and you don't really quite understand like, the advertisements that go through, you know, for someone to get to this particular point. So um, in the last video I didn't mention, I believe that there is an entry fee of 500 Jamaican dollars so you can come here and hold a vibe. And of course you can show some patronage by buying some food and stuff like that. I mean, 
If you're going to be here for a minute, you don't know, bodies of water normally make you hungry. If you're a Jamaican, you know, when you go to the beach, you always want to have something to eat. Even if it's just to drink a Pepsi or have a cookie. So, you see me? You come here and you're going to enjoy real Jamaican vibrations and everything like that. But what I'm most interested in seeing is seeing how well Ramo can actually handle this gathering of people because he is the only person inside of the kitchen. In the last video, you know, I was talking about, yo, I hope him don't burn up the thing or blah, blah, blah. He did quite well, but there's quite a bit of us here today. So, um, let's see how well he does. Of course, we did bring, um, you know, KFC and stuff like that. And even though he's a Rasta man, he's quite okay with that because we were quite concerned, you know, if we have a, you know, from, from a, a version to that, but, you know, he's a pretty cool guy. And um, we bring some KFC, some Pizza Hut, and of course, we're going to patronize um, his food that he has here. Hey, babe. Hey, hi, guys. Yeah, so, Jilly is like the co-host, I guess, or the host co-host because Ram will help you out because, yeah, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just winging it right now. <laughs> I'm going around the falls with some yeah. So Miss Natalie, as you're far away, you in a chicken. I'm hungry. You're hungry? <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think about the place though? So? I love it. I love it. I see it on your vlog all the time. Right. Miss Chin tell me about it. It's really cool. And right. I'm happy that it's not too deep where the kids then can, you know, enjoy and we don't have to worry too much. True. Mm -hmm. But may I wait for the other food too? You want to try that out as well, yeah? Yes! <laughs> now if you're a parent, you should already know that kids' birthday parties are really for you. To be quite honest, it's a way for you kind of vibe with a friend and my everything like that. So inside my coolest bottle, guys, I don't have any water in there. I have special juice, if you guys can figure it out. It's a very popular drink. Uh, it's creamy. Um, it's brown. And the company name starts with a... Yeah, let's, let, let's leave it there, but adult juice. And of course the dogs are there. Someone dropped in the comment and said that anywhere that you see dogs eating at, they know the food is good. So I guess, yeah, great sign. Um, Lucy, which is a, the female pregnant dog, um, yeah, she had puppies, Rama said. On Thursday, but dogs are usually, they're nesters. They will like create a nest and have it somewhere. So yeah, it's somewhere. He doesn't know how many puppies she has as yet, but um, yeah. The sun is out and kicking you. I wish I, I wish I'd brought something to go into the water to swim today, but no, nothing. Not, not even a towel. Yes, I'm a little foodie. See, man, you can't see she's a food day. Ramo. Ramo, thank you very much. R A M O. Okay, Ramo. Ramo. Not far, you know. Mm. This tastes good. Tastes good, though. Bad. Cool, eh? It's really cool. You cool it in the river? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, how drink this? <laughs> you don't know how to drink a coconut, bro. Jay, are you being serious? Yes. Are you Jamaican? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Teach your head, no, Jack. Teach your head. Oh, what is this? Oh, 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 why, mother? Oh, what is this? So these videos that I am making, they are cultural <laughs> archives to teach the youth of tomorrow how to drink a coconut. Oh, I, I, yo, I never thought I'd live to see the day that a child does not know how to drink a coconut appropriately. A teenager at that. But anyway, yeah, uh, to each his own. You, you learn how to do it now, Jai? Mm. You got it? <laughs> He's drowning! Oh my god. Just get him a straw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> no, no. Oh, your mother. No, I'm sorry. Your mother not ready at all. She doesn't teach you. You don't know what you can go get her? Yeah. So everybody is getting a coconut. You know, if we just go on trailing the river and stuff.
<laughs> Let me see if Natalie knows how to eat a jelly. Of course, I mean, in Belias. Yeah man. It look like say yo you have a whole load of coconut like you never out a coconut yet. Yeah man, I'm out man that buy I'm buy them that's the keep up. Me know why when you get them coming the out. So I have to make sure. Makes sense. Yeah. Worst weekend. I'm make sure. It's Makes sense because I think everybody who's a Jamaican come to this place and go want a coconut. That, yeah. It's just a part of the experience. Simple. See so you talk about Oh, so you get that from the falls. Oh, oh, where they, they you can wash your hand? Oh, oh, I never know. Yeah, I know about that one you showed me last time. Man, for the pipe, it's an eco friendly thing you have you know. So the pipe run, go back and eat, run back to the restroom. Makes sense, I must pull up in jug. Yeah, fresh. Why, is that it? Fresh. Tasteless spring water. That's what it's supposed to taste like. Anyway, to our very tasty coconut water now. Vibe. My friend. This is blue coconut, right? They're gonna make sure they have a little bit of a air gas so that the air can get into the coconut. Alright? Here we go. Watch. Don't do that. This you have to tilt the head back. Here we go. For style point, you stick your pinky finger up. It means that you're exquisite. Jeez, um, the coconut water is sweet, 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 sweet. It's unbelievably sweet, like. Tasty, you know what I'm Let me try this one, if it's different from mine. So sweet to me. Ah! What yeah, Pretty much the same, that man. Yep. This takes me back, way back. Here, here. When your mother gave you a little leg and a little napkin and you say, yep, happiest days. So here's the difference. Machine powered balloon, mouth powered balloon. <laughs> Food thing that you know, I yeah. can, like. So like I try to forget all the nutrients and type for the liquid. And the pumpkin and the coconut milk I it really do the work. Sweet. Yeah man, test it and tell me. Alright, now go make them get it first. This is really really good. Right? Rama can cook. It's really good. Yeah, you say you want to carry me with your personal chef. 
I'm thinking about it. Tastes nice though. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wow, uh, the soup in a nutshell is a very, it's a very light soup. It's not the typical Jamaican soup that, you know, some people say, yo, oh, runny or too thick or whatever the case. It's a very light soup, so it's more on the runny side. Um, but you're getting most of the pumpkin, like you mentioned. That's the phenomenal flavor of inside the soup, and that's a slight hint of that creaminess coming from the coconut juice as well. So it's a really nice soup. I kid you not. Um, you're not getting a lot of salt from it either. You know, it's just right. And in between and I think I think this is my very first time having a sip I would say or I don't have many experiences with it but based on what it's called and how it's explained as yeah it completely hits the mark and especially Jilly and Natalie they have been raving about it saying yo it's really good so yeah I think enough said coconut milk pumpkin carrot no, okra None of them no go cup soup business, no rooster, no none of that. Sweet. Natural, no coat that neck. Come on. Glad you're not enjoyed. It's really I'm good. Like really? <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. it's good. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's good. This is what I always believe. Anytime you see a child take something from their parents and they don't give it back right away, you know it's, like you know it's, it's decent. Yeah. Ramo. That soup they're supposed to done, though. Pretty close to done, you know. Yeah, man, the people them like them I love it, man. I don't drink a cup, you know. Eh? Yeah. I don't have a taste taste tonight. Yeah. I don't have a taste food every minute. Just you know. make it a your nose, know, so. Yeah. So, some breadfruit, a roast, and some. You say you want breadfruit, uh? Yeah, man, I want breadfruit, man. That's right, I roast that one, you know. Straight. I have one, but I fry, I have to fry that one. Ah. Uh. You know none of them, um, a ripe banana them? Them finished. Oh, Jano. I push, but them are ripe. Right one of the best, oh, one of the best one them may ever have, you know. Come on, no fertilizer in my Trust thing, me, man, it tastes real, bro. It's really good. Oh, KFC then in your plate. Because I'm Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, go carry him home. I have to carry him home. Definitely. Pure problem. I have to carry him home. <laughs> what did you get? I can saw fish, plantain, hallelujah, rice and peas, and little KFC. <laughs> Balance yeah, it from out. KFC. Yeah. <laughs> yes, avocado. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Here. Right. <laughs> you know, so I'm gonna go see this. You know? Yeah, man. Avocado business. Avocado because we have international viewers. Avocado. <laughs> yeah, so that has always been the international debate. But yeah, in Jamaica, we don't say um, avocado. We say pear. Um, no one has to do. So that's basically the vibe. Everybody eating. Um, so, Kelly, how's the food? Bossy. 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 Yes, it's pure uh, nice. You know, you know, have a car. I'm pure naive. That's what I tell you. So I'm saying, the food. That's holy summer. I don't want to share this with anybody. Daniel. <laughs> so we have some pure. Thank That's you, Stephen. So we're gonna do a little quick story time on this particular fruit here. Um, I have no. I mean, I don't have. No quite understanding as to why, you know, us as Jamaicans we call it pear. But for me, I know that I call it an avocado because I am part Cuban. That's a part of my history. So whenever I went to my great grandmother and she used to pick bees, she used to call it avocado because she spoke Spanish. So that's one of the reasons why I call it um, avocado. I don't know if in your country if you also call it a pear, please drop it in the comments and let me know. Probably if you're from the Caribbean, you also call it a pear. Um, but yeah, in Jamaica we call it a pear and um, yeah. So. You know the fast food, that's how it have texts on it. You better you do it the right way though. Yeah, I say I want good yeah, man, this is, yeah, you want good. Yeah, you want good? No man, this is good. Okay. 
Anyway, in Jamaica that you come to and they give you this amount of planting, get my seal of approval, you know? Look at that. Some ackee, sawfish, some breadfruit, and some colour. Yeah, man, go subscribe to him channel, man. Straight. Yeah, man, go subscribe. No, no, you have to like the day too. Oh, you say it? Huh? He's eight? No, he's eight. That's like me. I'm eight as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, it's eight. It's melting. It's very windy. It's melting. Oh, God. The wind is blowing it away. Tomorrow's his birthday, so he's going to be eight tomorrow. What part are you so today is not his birthday? No, so that's his birthday. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow is his birthday. So happy birthday for Jair. Hey, so so we're going to all be singing a live. Yeah. That's yeah. this one. <laughs> Fly. Ready. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jair. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now? Happy birthday to you. No. Bless you. May the good Lord bless you. It's about drive, it's about power. It's about joy, it's about power. It's about drive, it's about power. It's we about, it's about power. It's about power. <laughs> Come on, you should be singing it, bro. Sing it. Somebody have beat my body. Do it now, give me a chance. No, give me a chance. Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish. I need anything. Make a wish. And the candles aren't lit. Guys, I can tell you, I feel the height is coming along. Yeah, um, the ackee was pretty good. Um, tastes like the one that comes off a jelly tree. Like the quality ackee was really, really good. Um, yeah, not too much of fun of the breadfruit because it wasn't a yellow heart. It wasn't, yeah, but apart from that, everything else was really, really good. Um, great experience here, you know, having a, a bit of a gathering for the birthday. Like I said, I would take you guys and show the experience and you know, hopefully you guys can um, give Rama support if you're doing any small gathering, could be whatever it is, with your friends or whatever. Um, eventually we will come back and um, go to the waterfalls, check that out, because I'm sure that's also cool. But until then, remember the three things, love, nature and adaptation. And again, happy birthday Jair, and always remember to keep the link.